SpongeLab Interactive is a Toronto-based educational video games developer. Its award-winning Genomics Digital Lab series teaches students grades 7 through 12 about biology. SpongeLab's next game will focus on the history of biology, but co-founder Jeremy Friedberg is worried about an age-old student trick, sharing notes. Uh, we were very worried about well, you know, someone plays this for the first time, they put up a, a walkthrough on the net somewhere that we can't control, and they put up solutions for all the answers in the game, and boom, it's done. It's a, as a, an educational tool, it can be ruined. And so we sat down to start designing the engine for this game, and we wanted a couple of things. It had to be a very dynamic engine, um, but it also had to be able to be uncheatable, or at least to reduce the potential of cheating within the game. And so every time a student would enter the game and have to go find a solution or a bit of content, that content will be randomized in a variety of different ways so that it's new and different every time a user goes in. So it was a, a bit of a challenge for us to sort of wrap our heads around that because it's not really part of, of standard game development. To help meet that challenge, SpongeLab called in a top student programmer from Centennial College. With funding from the college's Ontario Network for Industry Innovation, Alex Maslov was given a contract and a big opportunity. He had four months to design a cheat-proof game engine. What essentially a state engine is, is something that allows for um, the control of multiple states within the, within the game. So it simplifies the game creation process and simplifies the tracking of the different variables and uh, states that the game goes through. The hardest part of doing that work was try, trying to interpret conceptually what a state engine is and then interpret that into its programmatical counterpart. So actually outputting it into a script. So to make that logic work in a, in a software, in a virtual environment. SpongeLab was pleased with his work. The game will be launched into beta testing this spring, and a full release is planned for the summer. But Alex, you know, just Sean when he came here and just sat down and really, this is fabulous. He, you know, he got right into it and developed the machine, the, the engine itself. Other students from Centennial are getting involved in the game too. You know, just like going to see a movie, I mean, people really get attached to the characters. And, and this is what we want to do in our game. And these people through history, these are, these are characters. And we, they have all kinds of interesting personalities and events that shape their lives. And this is what's interesting. And so to, to find all that information was a huge undertaking. There's a massive amount of content that has to be sifted through. Well, this is true. This isn't true. Validating this, this event and that event, getting the dates right. And so Angela was here um, helping us mine all that content and actually put it together into um, defined missions within this game. For Maslov, the project has led to a dream job as a full-time interactive media developer. He now works at Sponge Lab's sister company, in vivo Communications. As a programmer, I wanted to be a game designer or a media designer, not a traditional business programmer, but I actually wanted to work in an environment such as this. One thing's for sure, this student didn't cheat his way into that job. For itbusiness.ca, I'm Brian Jackson.